chunks are coming out. If I give you my ponytail, do you think that would make you a little less sad? This is step one. I'm gonna cut it into an angled bob. Well, that, mean, that's actually not too bad. There's a little this all came out just in one shower. Come to the point where we're gonna shave it all off because I've got bald spots now. Now everybody gets to see Amanda's scalp tattoo. It's this is the up. safest haircut you'll ever get from a five-year-old. <laughs> Weirdest wow. Mommy's bald now. Yes. Is that funny? Yes. Mommy <laughs> looks funny. Feels like a scratchy beard. A scratchy beard. I was really kind of shocked at how fast this happened. This is going to be the easiest, lightest, lowest maintenance summer hairdo I have ever had. thought it would be worth documenting. We are about a week and a half out from my first chemo infusion and I'm definitely starting to notice hair coming out. I took a shower and like a lot came out in the shower but you can see like I just run my fingers through my hair. I just yeah like I go like that and like little bits of hair like big bits of hair coming out. This is just right now this much hair came out just from running my fingers through my hair like three or four times. Ooh, yikes, it's definitely starting to happen. Hello, everyone. 199, 200! Yahoo! Alex has made his grand entrance. <laughs> We're having a little powder room party. The whole family in the bathroom here. My hair has started falling out in handfuls now. Oh, there's grandma. Grandma can come in. Okay. We're having a party in the bathroom here. My hair is coming out in handfuls now. It is now two weeks, almost exactly, since my first round of chemo. And they said in the second week it would start coming out. So see, just like, you can see how my, that's just when I run my fingers through my hair, like, chunks are coming out. Decided what I'm going to do finally. I'm going to just cut it into a bob. I don't want to shave it off. I'm just going to cut it into a short bob because even though it's coming out in handfuls, like it's going to take a while for it all to come out that way. So I'm just going to do a shorter haircut. Alex, you wanted to have mommy's hair to play with, didn't you? So if I, all of your hair? If I give you my ponytail, do you think that would make you a little less sad if you could still play with my hair? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's gonna want to snuggle it. He's gonna want to snuggle my hair. Oh my goodness. What You're gonna want to do that too. I'm gonna cut your hair off. Yeah. Sophie's actually excited about this. Look at Teo. And Teo is excited about this too. So I will link the book that we read to them down below. It was really good for helping the kids to understand why mommy is gonna soon have no hair. And we are just starting off, we're making it gradual. We're gonna start by just making it short first and then I'll just let it fall out kind of on its own at a slower pace then. But at least then I'll have like my ponytail of long hair salvaged. So that's what we are doing today. And then maybe once it, once I start getting like bald spots, maybe I'll shave it at that point. But this is step one. So I'm gonna cut it into an angled bob which I watched a couple of YouTube videos on it, and it's pretty easy to do. You just put your hair in a ponytail in the back of your head, and you cut the ponytail in the back of your head, and it makes that kind of natural backward angle, or other way, other way, there we go. Angle like that. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to part it where I usually part it, down the side here. Here it goes. 
There it is. Like and boy, that's a, that's a very quick and easy haircut, isn't it? Yeah, I like your wow. 100% uh, quarantine approved. Yeah. Your that's, that's actually not too bad. There's a little, yeah, in the front it looks good. In the back, you'd need a little touch up. Yeah, it needs a little touch up, but oh my goodness, there is my hair. I'm your ponytail. I want it. That's crazy. Yeah, so I think what we've decided is because, like, the kids are gonna miss my hair so much, and it's kind of like, especially for Alex, it's like a sensory thing. He always plays with my hair. If he has this, and we're gonna like tie it really tight, maybe like glue the ends or something, do something to make it so it won't fall apart. Um, I think that will be comforting for them. There it is. There it is. There it is. I have a bob now. I don't even remember the last time my hair was this short, maybe in college. <laughs> That's crazy. I think there's a picture of you with Abby and Ellie as babies that was where your hair the, is about that short. That was about the last time it was this short. Yeah. Well, you've cut yeah. it off for lots of love, haven't you? Yeah, but not this short. Wait. No. Mommy looks kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> Sophie's running away now because Mommy looks And she can't run away too. unless she goes, ah! <laughs> she runs away. Yes. Sophie. <laughs> Runs away screaming, Teo has to run away screaming. So Bill is now just going to clean up the back. You can see that the next section needs a little bit of work here. Who knows, maybe I'll decide I like this kind of haircut. I've had long hair for so long. But this man right here cuts his own hair, so I trust him to make it even. Getting the, the main bits here. The main bits. Not the New Hampshire bits, the main bits. <laughs> or M A N E. The main bits. <laughs> I am really rough and raw today. I am straight out of the shower, so this is <laughs> what we've got. I just wanted to show you, you can see how much my hair is thinning. We are a few days out from my second chemo infusion and I had to show you how much just came out in the shower because it's kind of shocking. This all came out just in one shower. It's kind of shocking, <laughs> but expect it. I'm going to ugh, put that in the trash, but I also wanted to show you just how much my hair comes out just when I run my fingers through my hair. Look at that. Just for documenting purposes. That's just running my fingers through my hair. It's crazy. Whew. Had a good cry about it last night, but not gonna stay there. I know this is just part of the process. It's probably going to be easier once I am actually bald completely because then I'm not like losing hair constantly. <laughs> but it is a process, it's an emotional process, but it is what it is. I just wanted to document it. So major hair loss and it's happening really fast at this point. Alright, so it's come to the point where we're going to shave it all off because it's I've got bald spots now. It's a mess. So we're going to let the kids help. You gonna help Sophie? Yes. Yeah? I've got my little hair thing, I've got my towel. <laughs> Alright. So this is my little chemo cap that I got with my little flowers here. So. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. It's getting a lot of last fall. It's crazy. Oh wow. This is even just since yesterday. I know. Crazy. Oh, yeah. So. so now everybody gets to see Amanda's scalp tattoo. <laughs> Where yeah. Um, I think Alex is is too unsure about the whole thing, so he's downstairs. Okay. Yeah. All right. Leave your glasses on. Well, I guess I can take them off. Yeah. Oh, my glasses. Grandma's gonna show you how to do it, and then you can help. 
it's not like she can really mess things up. Yeah, it's not like you're gonna This mess is the up. safest haircut you'll ever get from a five-year-old. <laughs> That's right. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm getting the old man look here first. Head in my life. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I have either. I don't think. Yeah, you have either. I've had a short buzz. Yeah. Like where it's for the summer or whatever, the weirdest, but weirdest feeling. Here, come over here. The pier, but there he is. I know. I know. Do you want to do some, Sophie? All right, let's let Sophie do some. Do I look like a baby now? You look like an old man. That is the weirdest feeling. Yeah, it's like that weird. That's weird. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. This is the strangest sensation. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi, Wendy. Oh. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. I'm shaving my head for your birthday. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to reach up a little higher now, honey. Emotionally now, I'm ready for it, but good grief. <laughs> I've always wondered what my hair would look like, Paul. I know, well now I know what now I know what my scalp looks like. I've never seen like the shape of my head before. <laughs> yeah, you can always see it. I mean, you have a like a very nicely brown shape. Yeah. Well that's good. <laughs> seen you. <laughs> yeah, this is the least hairy I'll ever be. Putting back on. There's my ponytail. There it is. What do you think, Sophie? It really looks funny. Funny. Mommy's bald now. Yes. Is that funny? Yes. Mommy looks funny. What do you think? It looks, it looks a little funny, doesn't it? It's just like the the book that we read to you. The no hair book. Remember? You helped shave it, didn't you? Yeah. What does it feel like? It feels like a scratchy beard. A scratchy beard. <laughs> a stubbly beard. <laughs> There's still some little stubble up there. You're being really brave too, you know that? Seeing mommy with such a big change in her hair. Yeah. Yeah. Change doesn't seem to bother you as much. I though. know to do something. There's my hair. <laughs> there it is. I was just gonna close out this whole video just with a few reflections. That's what I had just a few days ago. <laughs> I was really kind of shocked at how fast this happened. I was expecting the hair loss thing to just 
happen over a period of weeks. And a few days after I had my first infusion, I noticed like some tingling in my scalp and I think that was the beginning of it. And then a few days ago, I noticed that it was starting to like be on my pillow and like when I took a shower there was more in the drain than usual and when I was brushing my hair. So I was expecting that was just the beginning and that maybe it would just be kind of a slow process. I was kind of shocked how fast it happened. Within a matter of days, it was coming out in gobs. Like, it went from just being a little bit slow at first, like the first day or two, and then the next day it picked up to like small handfuls. Are you gonna, oh, are you gonna decorate me up now? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I have a hair band. Are you gonna put a, a headband on me? <laughs> Oh my goodness, that looks kind of silly. Um, that's when we cut it short, and I was still expecting that it was going to be a slower process, but then I started getting bald spots like the next day. Like I was not expecting to be getting like gauze. It was like, went from small handfuls to like big handfuls, and you saw me pulling it out. Um, and it was making a mess. Like I was getting hair everywhere. I woke up in the morning and my pillow was covered with hair and um, just like if I just ran my fingers through my hair, it was just coming out. Um, and so I was like, I guess I'm going to be shaving my head a lot sooner than I thought. When I woke up this morning, it was even more so, like there's, you know, big, huge bald patches like right here and here. And so I was like, we're gonna rip off the Band-Aid. We're just gonna do it today. We're gonna shave it off. So, Got my little no hair dresser here. Um, yeah, so we did it. We did it today. And today is officially the kids' first day of summer vacation as well. So kicking off summer vacation with no hair. I keep saying this is going to be the easiest, lightest, lowest maintenance summer hairdo I have ever had. There it is. There it is, it is it is officially done. There's my hair there, that was there like that in that thick, like less than a week ago. That was like four or five days ago that it was like that. And now here we are. With this little hair loss journey of mine, it ended up, like I said, being a lot faster than I thought it was gonna be, but I figured I'd just compile this all into a little video so you could just see the whole process. I will continue to give you guys cancer treatment updates. If you guys are new here and you want to see my whole breast cancer story, be sure to like <laughs> and subscribe <laughs> so you can see more of these little goofballs. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for joining us on this crazy journey and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! just go with the flow. Alex is having a little bit tougher time with this. Understandably so. You too though. Yeah. You're brave. You guys are brave. Tio, what do you think of all this? Does it look funny? Yeah. Yeah. Do you still love mommy anyway? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love you guys.